Hello everyone! Today uh, I'm going to show you how to change an IP address of a Modicon uh, PLC M580. Um, let me start the control expert here. Uh, Schneider Electric recently changed uh, the engineering tool. Uh, they used to be called Unity Pro but now they call them uh, control expert. I'm not too sure when they changed it but nevertheless Control X for the day. So I'm just gonna create a brand new project here. New, uh, new. Okay, I'm just gonna create a hot standby. Just gonna choose one CPU, I guess. Eh? No security. Okay. Just want to show you what the demography is and the layout of this PLC right now. So if you double click this PLC bus, you'll see a power supply and the PLC here. So, okay, the intent of this exercise today or demonstration is to change the IP address uh, right here, right? So uh, if you go and go to tools and go look at your uh, DTM browser, you can actually see the IP address is 10. 0 0.1 if you double click th click this guy there's no way you can actually change this right they are normally locked i'm not too sure how they some people can change this but i can anyway the way to change i found out is that uh, i'm going to close my dtm browser here is to actually go to your structural view go in here and just going to close this here double click this plc bus which brings the same screen and then you click this guy here and double click it so this brings you to the to the user menu uh, for that particular card there and you go IP config and this is where you can actually change it to right so uh, 88 sure 88 right and all that good stuff uh, you can't put 255 here and it, or, or else you are constricting your subnet masking so I always put that zero here so when you close it they ask you to verify the modification we're talking about security and now if you look at your uh, IP address here tools DTM browser you can actually see that the IP address has been changed to that now say say for example if you have an uh, add-on uh, be the add-on NIC card they call it NOC let's say I'm gonna add one here communication okay that's three cards to choose from for communication for Ethernet communication I'm just going to say 0.3 the difference between all those point two, point three, point four is speed of transmission and baud rate. So I'm just going to give it a name called something, right? Just put my name in there. Okay. So after after a couple of clicks here, they'll create a NOC here. Okay. So here, uh, in order to change, if you double click, if you go to DMT browser, if you double click it, you can't really change it from here. I'll just show you. They are normally locked. Like again, not too sure how you open this, but normally what I do is that I'm going to close the DMT browser for now. Close here. Normally the way you change this is you expand, you go back to your uh, project browser structural view, expand this PLC bus, expand this uh, uh, backbone, and you'll see an NOC card here. This is a power supply CPU. Uh, just now you change the CP IP address for CPU by double clicking this guy here. I'm sorry, double clicking here instead of that. But on an NOC, you'll change it from here. Okay, so you can see if you just hold on, go to tools, DTM browser, you can see it is uh, 172.168.12.1. So if I double click this guy here, you will see that it's on the same subnet masking. So if I want to put them into private IP address, so I'm just going to make it to 192 for all of them. Oops, 192. So it's got three ports, right? 192. And even the gateway is 192, right? Just make it simple. And and this this since it's at zero, uh, you can actually have a huge range of IP address. So but if you put 255, um, all of them have to be of the same subnet mass. So I'm just gonna keep the whole thing on the same subnet mass, say 22, 22, 22 gateway to two right and then after that they will ask you to validate warning on some of the security stuff and then you can see that your IP address has been changed and on the same note right uh, 
uh, you can do uh, yeah that's the takeaway I'm sorry is that uh, it's a bit weird and funny the way I set up the NOC IP address you change it to a structure view but the CPU's IP address you have to double click first of all you got to open the PLC bus and double click this Ethernet here and that's where you change your IP address after selecting this IP icon here yes one more thing um, let's introduce a remote IO let's say if you have a remote IO another case here is just let's say you have a remote IO like that so uh, this will be my current setup for the CPU right I'm uh, just gonna open that guy on the side here something like that and let's say you have a remote IO right I'm gonna add remote IO I'll show you how to change the IP address on the remote IO as well uh, in order to add the remote IO we would go double click on EIO bus it will come up with a option to add IO bus you can click here double click that guy I'm gonna put uh, uh, one of the back racks a six slot right okay I'll give you a nice little six rod similar so you need uh, you need a power supply uh, it's okay so your CR is here this is a six slot one two three four five and six right so you have first section first four slots are for power and this is your main interface card so let's add some power supply so just gonna choose anyone randomly here or you can put a redundant one one more additional one oops not that one preferably the same one hey so so you got that and then you add you know the usual stuff uh, just add the IO card and a log card you know uh, and uh, say discrete digital input card you know and all the good stuff so the whole uh, uh, discussion here is how do you change the IP address in here right uh, if you can't really change the IP address from here let me show you what I mean by that double click it there's no option for you to change any IP address here so even if you go in here right and this is your CRA there's no way you can change the IP address however you notice that it's 192.168.11.3 right here right so it's been pre-assigned and you can't really change it so you can click here but let me show you where exactly that particular IP address comes from so it comes from the main CPU itself so if I go back to my main CPU and I say main CPU I'm talking about this guy here this guy actually has a DHCP server which distributes an IP address for that particular CRA or remote NIC card so you know to change to manage that IP address you double click this guy here again and you'll notice that uh, uh, the okay let me show you what I mean by here so your service or your main uh, Ethernet jack here this IP address is 88.1 and IP address for A and B is here so since this is connected it's going to be connected to this guy here naturally it will follow 192.168.11 subnet altogether that's why that's the reason why you have um, that's why when you look at your remote rack here if you look at your IP address in the remote rack uh, is uh, 11 right so let me go back to the PLC bus here so it's on the same subnet as this guy so the only thing you can do with this uh, IP address change on the uh, on this bus here let me go back here and this bus here is you can change the last octet the reason behind that is that uh, uh, the last octet is variable right so you can choose anywhere from 3 all the way up to 254 I think 55 255 is the broadcast address you can really use it dot one is not dot one dot two is actually being occupied by uh, the the main PLC itself so um, the way to change that IP address would be if you go to update CRA IP address configuration click on this guy here and you can see that it's dot three here Right, similar to what you have here dot three so you do it by do it by going in here click this guy here and say you want to call it uh, 88 hit enter save it validate it it's not unique uh, but uh, some other things some of the IP address in that same network are having issues but nevertheless if you look at your IP address here it's now it's dot 88 for that particular device there uh, for the remote rack um, yeah so 
that's basically what you do, I guess, uh, in terms of IP address changes. Uh, I hope uh, it will help what you're trying to do. All right, have a good day. Bye.